Hey everybody, this is Indie Geek, and I am back with another episode of Tech It. So, I had some uh, technical difficulties. Uh, turns out if I try and launch Tech It... Oh... Also, turns out if I press my hotkey for recording, it turns off my HUD. I've got to remember that for the future. The future, future, future. Anyways, uh, turns out that if I... Um, load up Tech It while in offline mode... And this is going to get a little nerdy here. Uh, because of the way that Minecraft initializes, when I was in offline mode, there's a bigger chance, uh, because there's a race condition when you're loading up, that may or may not cause the game to load without sound. And that race condition uh, is apparently increased if you're in offline mode when you load up Tech It. I was in offline mode because I was uploading, and when I'm uploading, my internet gets screwy. But, uh, I am back. You did not miss much. I got a little bit of coal. I... cooked the meat. Made some ore. Uh, not any useful ore, of course. All I've got are, like, various kinds of copper. Uh, today's goal is I'm going to be mining a ton, hopefully. Um, and of course the first goal in that is to get iron, because I need iron. Very much so. Yep, here comes the water. Here comes the sun. Doo -doo -doo -doo. All right. We can do it. We can get out of here. Yeah, we made it. All right. Oh, lovely. All right, I see you, jerk. What was that? That was not a creeper noise. Okay, what is this? Tin. Okay, that actually was perfect. That showcased one of my other favorite mods. Um, I don't know which mod actually causes that to happen. It's probably one of the inventory management mods. But when a tool I'm using runs out, if I've got another of that same tool in my inventory, it auto-places it back in the... <laughs> Um, place that I had it in the first place. So, you saw that when my stone pickaxe broke, it immediately replaced it with another stone pickaxe. So I'm getting tons of tin and copper and other stuff that doesn't mean much to me yet. <coughs> and uh, the problem that I found out with the copper is that you cannot make like a pickaxe out of copper. Uh, and as you can imagine, that is kind of a problem, because stone pickaxes are not going to cut it for very long. I will need something with a little bit more power. What happened to that creeper? See, now I'm on edge about it. Where is he? There he is! Boom! Alright, I got quartz. <laughs> I, I don't know what that does. That's kind of the theme of, of this Minecraft series, um, which is good. It's, an, it's a nice juxtaposition to the other Minecraft series where I pretty much knew what everything was already. There wasn't too much new stuff. Uh, so, you know, it's nice to have this where practically everything is unfamiliar. So, yeah, I was going to say, that's probably our quartz. No idea what that does. So that'll be fun to discover. Another creeper. Creepers, oh my god, creepers all over. Damn. Oh, did he blow up the other one? I mean, at least he did that for me. Okay, we have found iron. That's a good kind of step in the right direction here. That being said, I'm going to collect what is here first. Ah, uh, so if you haven't figured out, I guess I didn't officially mention uh, this will be a mining episode basically in full. I can't imagine that I'm going to get to any building today. Uh, that will probably be next episode. This episode I want to just sort of discover some ore, 
hopefully get iron tools, and the next episode we can make the house, which I have some cool ideas for that I haven't gotten to yet. Obviously, because this is, what, episode two? Holy cow, that's it. Just episode two. Might as well get a bunch of marble, I guess. I don't know how important marble is. But it seems important, maybe. Again, just because there's so many things that I have never seen before, there's like a lot of stuff that I have no idea if it's worth picking up or not, but I'm kind of under the assumption that if it's not from vanilla Minecraft, it's probably worth picking up. Um, I'm having a really weird time getting up here. Thank you. Oh, and of course, I've got the whole effect going on. There we go. Uh, when you're in water, it makes it take twice as long, I think, to mine anything out, so... Obviously, you don't want to spend much time mining underwater. Um, is this going to lead me to anywhere useful? That's the real question here. It looks like maybe? I guess there's only one way to really go. We can see from our map that we are very much underwater here. So, digging up is not going to be the greatest option. I know there was some ore there. Probably just going to skip that. Again, hearing monsters everywhere. Not enjoying it. More tin. Alright, cool. Uh, as well as whatever that is. Oh, the other kind of tin. Yeah, this is... That's going to get confusing. Uh, I'm going to have to be much more organized in this series than I was in the original. And I'm probably going to have a somewhat extensive chest system so that I can organize things based on what they're used for more so than what they are. Because obviously I don't want to have both of the types of tin ore in one chest, because that's going to get really confusing really fast. Oh, and that was my last stone pickaxe. So, it is probably worth it to maybe get out of here at this point. I mean, I got... How much iron did I get? Nine. So I can make three iron pickaxes, which is exactly what I will do. So I'm going to work my way out of here, even though it's going to uh, be slow progress, most likely. Come on. Get out of here. Let me out of here. Come on, we can do it. Woo! This is... I, I hate this. <laughs> if I'm being totally honest. Actually, I might make a bucket with three pieces of iron. I think that's the way to go. Two pickaxes, one bucket. Because that is probably what's going to be most useful for me. Um, and I'm going to get to land here and take this opportunity to make it day. Oh, come on. No. Really? <sighs> okay, well, at least we know exactly where I was, so that's where I'm going to head. And hopefully... Uh, Mr. Skeleton there is not going to be too much of a dick. Alright, to the mine. So I can get my stuff back. That was messed up. Seriously, why the hell are there so many creepers? Man, I can't believe Batman was defeated by a creeper. That doesn't seem right. Okay, so, here's all my stuff, yay. Of course, I'm probably going to have to 
head down here to actually get all my stuff because I'm sure a bunch of it has kind of floated down this direction. Let's see how I'm doing. What is that? Oh, that's weird. Yeah, another creeper. Seriously? Why don't you just go away? What the hell kind of noise was that? Oh, it's a zombie. Hey there, zombie. Uh, yeah, don't worry about it. That wasn't me getting scared or anything. The wild flailing of the mouse is no indication of me being frightened. This is why I don't play horror games, though. If you can imagine how terribly that would go. Okay. Well... I'm kind of wondering... Maybe I just go back with what I've got here. I mean... What? I got the, uh... Where's this gonna lead? To a spider bro. Not a fan of spider bros. There's more iron. I wish I could get it. Okay, yeah, I think I'll just leave. I mean, what? I'm missing out on some tin I had. I'm missing out on some... Okay, seriously? You goddamn prick. Leave me alone. And another creeper. You've got to be kidding me. Okay. I'm just getting out of here. Whatever I lost, I lost. It can't be that important. Alright. And I need to check in my options real quick. Holy cow. I'm gonna turn it on easy. I, I think that lowers the number of spawns. So there will still be enemies, but there should be fewer of them because Jesus. I don't know what is going on. Had like a billion creepers already this episode, and it's pissing me off. Come on. Erg, get up there. Thank you. Oh, my eternal struggle with, with climbing. Never liked it. Okay, let's eat an apple. Wow, that does not heal me up at all. Oh, and I lost all that meat I had. Oh, man. That's not good. So, Minecraft tip number 23. Uh, always make sure you leave some meat at the house. Which, as you can see here, I didn't do. So, yeah, that's the situation. Um... So I need to figure out a way to get some meat. Because, yeah. As you can see, you can't eat eggs. Oh, I could kill the chickens, of course. Get back here. Oh, my God. Thank you. Very much. Alright, let's do that. And this will get me some uh, some sustenance for me. I can put that back up in there. Is it going to heal me all the way? Yes, thank you. Okay. At least I am back to full health. Could be worse. Could be much worse, actually. All in all, this is uh, pretty good. Let's continue to uh, kill some chickens here, because we've got no shortage of them. Oh my god. Why are you so hard to hit? Get back here. I can't believe I just killed a chicken with a chicken. That doesn't really seem right. <laughs> Come on, thank you. Alright, I'm not dealing with night time. I don't have time with that. Time for that? Time with that? What? What am I talking about? 
What am I saying? Alright. Copper. Iron's done. Put those chickens in there. Um, get this. Do that. And then... That's right. I don't have any wood. So I need to do that. Oops. Boom. And now I've got two iron picks. Beautiful. That is what we call progress, ladies and gentlemen. Alright. So. Now. Now we go mine. More. Hmm. Okay. Um. Well, I mean, there's a few ways to do this. I could go back to that original mine that I was just at. And I might... Because I've got a way of taking care of the water. This is wild. Very wild. But I like it. Uh, yeah, maybe I will do that. Because I can, I can bucket up the water. What do we have here? Not much. Got a zombie testificate, bro. Who obviously wants some brains. Thanks for the rotten flesh, I guess. Oh, pig. Yes. Come here, piggy. Yes, tons of pigs. This is what I need. Thank you. Thank you. Alright. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess I'm just wandering a bit. Seeing what I can find. Oh my god. Ah, uh, that was awful. My frame rate just dropped to like one for two seconds there. It was so bad, so bad. Like the power glove. It's so bad. Alright. Uh, actually, I, I should mention, uh, as much as I talked about how important coal was before, due to equivalent exchange, coal is actually even more important now than ever before. So... Uh, you will be seeing me collect a lot of coal. So yeah, maybe I'll just head down here a bit. Oh, you know what? I should take some of my food. Put it on my hotbar. There's definitely some things that I should have left at the house. Oh, and it turns out there wasn't much down here anyways. More pigs if I wanted to get some more meat, which I kind of do. I know it's bad use of my pick. But in some ways it's also good use of my pick because it'll keep me alive. Alright, yep, just getting some more meat. Send this guy right off the edge. Actually managed to hit him twice before he hit the ground. Take some skill, I suppose. What was that? I'm so sick of hearing all this groaning. Everywhere I go, everything around me is just groaning. Okay, so I mean, part of this problem, of course, is this whole situation here which I'm going to try and remedy by blocking it off that 
seemed to work. Okay, so now, I mean, I should have a little bit better time getting down and exploring some of this. Man, I love Minecraft music. Okay. So, right, and this was an issue that I can take care of like this, most likely. And that should solve most of the problem. Yeah, certainly much easier now than it was a little while ago. Alright, what do we got here? Right, right, right. This was an area that I had started to go to and abandoned, of course, because I didn't have proper equipment. But now I do. There we go. So we've already made back uh, what we've spent basically with this pick. What is that? Is that a zombie? And that's a creeper. Thank you. Oh, I'm so sick of all of them. Oh my god, would you please just like go away? I can't deal with your crap. Okay, that one like fell forever <laughs> which is kind of really funny anyways man I'm sick of uh, mobs I just I don't enjoy mobs I would love to turn it on peaceful but I know that's not as fun to watch because I know people love seeing me get blown up by creepers. And I wouldn't take that away from you. I really should have thought about making a sword. That was probably my biggest mistake. Because I should not be fighting things with my pick. Uh, are you... Are you messing with me right now? Come on. Alright, I hear the zombies, I just don't see them. <laughs> what what does that say? Applied energistics? Jesus, that sounds like one of those majors that no one gets. <laughs> oh, you made it back up, huh? That's impressive, actually. I'm impressed. Ooh, that's an aura I haven't seen. And a creeper. Of course, right? Because this just like wouldn't be complete without a creeper. Alright. Well, this is like. Oh my god! I'm so done. Okay, you know what? For the time being, I'm turning the damn mobs off. I can't do it anymore. I just, I can't deal with their shit. It's driving me insane. When I'm done mining this crap, yellow right or what the hell is that? Someone was smoking something when they came up with that name. Yellow right or no. Ah, feels so nice to have these stupid mobs gone. Thank you. Okay. Again, awesome mod in action there. Uh, don't worry, this won't be like forever that we won't have the mobs. But for now, while I'm mining right now, I, I was tired of dealing with them. Okay, I'm liking the look of this. 
because this is opening up exactly how I would want to see it open up. And I'm getting a fair amount of stuff. Okay, so what I can do here is that, and that will make life much easier here. Oops, why would I even use that? Hey, there's something I haven't seen. We'll check out what that is in just a second. Gosh, ore is like all over the place now. I can't wait until I know what's worth getting and what isn't. <laughs> Emerald ore, huh? Interesting. Oh, I think... I feel like emerald ore might actually be a part of vanilla Minecraft, though. Because <clears throat> I think emeralds are something that you trade with the villagers, which of course I still have not met any of. Uh, well, other than the zombified forms. But eventually we will meet... Eventually we'll find a village. I mean, that's... Just kind of the nature of the whole thing, right? Sooner or later we'll come across it. Hopefully sooner rather than later. <coughs> ah, now this is mining that I can get behind. Nice, peaceful. No stupid creepers screwing with me. Alright, um, again, just lighting glitches everywhere. Oh no, it's not a lighting glitch, it's oil. Sorry, Notch, didn't mean to uh, offend you and complain about the lighting glitches again. Hey, that's something I haven't seen. What are you? Lead ore, okay. Let's just carry that around in our pockets, that'll be good for our health. We all know how good lead is for us. Okay, get some more emeralds. Some more gemeralds. And I guess I'm just going to avoid the oil. I'm still curious what that world thread stuff was. I don't know. If you haven't noticed, I have not taken any time to like go look up <laughs> any of this stuff. It's kind of more fun to just be ignorant for right now. Okay, I'm not having a good time going around. What was that? Quantum dust? Jesus. Is that more? Yeah. I like that, whatever it is. Okay, well, I want to get over there. Hey, iron. Nice. Good find, good find. And let's see, we are coming up on the 30 minute mark here, so I guess pretty soon I will have to head back to my house. Okay. Here's what I'll do, because I definitely want this iron so that I can keep the um, you know keep myself funded in iron basically dropping all that in the hopes that I will be able to get to it I doubt it because I don't know what is up with this oil I don't know if it just like eats everything that falls into it like lava or what I know that it's kind of annoying because it hurts me, I think, if I remember right. Okay, well, at least stuff does float down it, it seems. Alright, let's go like this, I guess. Uh, and this would actually be better use for my stone pickaxe. Oh, this is, like, ridiculous. Wait, why am I... Okay, why am I so dumb? Why 
Will this cut it off? Some of it. Ah, I've done it. Okay, we got some redstone, which is still just plain old redstone. Nothing new or special about it, as far as I know. More of this weird yellowite ore that I have no idea about. But I'll get it, because it's got to do something, right? It's kind of my assumption <coughs> on all of this stuff, is that it all must do something. Okay, silver. That's good. I haven't seen any of that, I guess. More tin for good old Galacticraft. Ah. Okay. This is the kind of stuff that I've been looking for. So, we've got lava, which is typically a pretty good sign. Also, we're pretty darn close to where diamonds are most commonly found. So, I would not be surprised to find some diamonds. And the big reason, of course, that I want diamonds is just because then I can make diamond tools and I will have to make more tools less often. I certainly am not under the impression that diamond is like the end all be all here. I got a zombie head. Oh, nice. Perfect. That makes me happy. Alright. So, yeah, I guess I should actually. Woo! I'm Batman. It's zombie Batman. Come on, kids. You all know zombie Batman. Alright. What else do we got here? More silver. That's good. More of this damn oil that I am not a fan of. Okay. How do I do this? Okay. I think what I do is I work my way through here. And again, just kind of try and go around all of it. Oh, which kind of stinks, because there's some ore and stuff that I would like to get. I will definitely pick up this quantum dust. Still not totally sure about it. Yeah, see, this is going to be just a pain to deal with. Although I know that oil is important at some point. Okay. I Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to figure out what all this quantum stuff is. <laughs> Ah, we've made it. Okay, so now is when I make a move like this. Alright. Let's stick over here for now. Um, I have no idea, like, what I prepared myself with. I'm trying to remember if I packed any of the things I would need to, like, replace my current tools. And I have a strong feeling that I didn't. Which would, of course, lead me to believe that I probably didn't. Yeah, I don't have anything. <laughs> I mean, at least I've got some cobble. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to sort of block this whole section off. That was lucky. 
Okay, so at least now over here I can get some work done. Okay, I wish silver didn't look so much like diamond. Alright, yep, let's uh, take care of some of that situation. Do this, and then just sort of see what I've got here. Uh, and I have a, a feeling that it's... Oh no. Um... Okay, here's what I do. I can make this work for me. So I do a crafting table. In the crafting table, I make a furnace. I do a furnace. Put my coal in the furnace and my iron ore in the furnace. Then in the crafting table, of course, I can make some sticks. And I will be able to continue this mining situation. Because, of course, I don't want to leave here just yet. Not with how much good stuff there still obviously is everywhere. So, uh, what I will do, however, is I will go over here and sort of get rid of some more of this lava. Um, and then I think think what will probably happen is I'll probably bring this to a close about here. Uh, you know, I'll make my my tools that I want, but I think that this will probably be where we end this episode. Kind of getting close to that sort of 40 minute mark. But yeah, there's definitely more to be done here, as you can see. Uh, but for now, I will just sort of do this old song and dance here to uh, make the whole area a little bit safer. Last thing we want is to lose all of our stuff that we found to an unfortunate lava accident. So, this is, uh, of course, I've, I've mentioned in the other Minecraft series, but this is why I always try to have a bucket of water with me when I go mining. Because, you know, a lot of the time, your really good mining trips will lead you to an area like this. And, of course, you want to have a way to kind of safely navigate the lava. So, my solution, of course, is just a bucket of water. It's pretty much the simplest possible solution that I can come up with. And, uh, you know, it's fairly fast as well, which is nice. I mean, by the end of this episode, we'll have this whole area kind of lava-proofed. Uh, which is great, because the next episode, everything will just be kind of mine for the taking. And I guess what I will probably try and do, just as sort of a precursor to next episode, I know I said that next episode would be building, uh, probably won't work out quite like that. Just because we've found this really nice spot here. Um, but next episode, what I will probably try and do is see if I can build somewhat straight up a way out of here. Ferris ore. Okay. Uh, so that I can try and maybe get down here over and over again. Because I don't think I'm going to have the inventory needed to just get all of this stuff. I think that's somewhat obvious, considering my inventory is almost full, as is. Oh, is that it? Is that what I've been looking for? If I... Yes, it is. Alright. 
Well, I found it, so I think this was even faster than last uh, uh, series. I think we managed in. Well, this is episode two, so uh, pretty good in that regard. Okay, yeah, I'm making this worse. It's fine. So let me go make my iron pick, and I will collect that at the very least. All right, got some iron. Do that and that. All right, and then uh, you know the other hope, of course, is that if I can make a way, probably by a waterfall, would be the easiest. Uh, but if I can make a way like that to easily get back to the surface, then what I can actually do is just set up a chest down here. And I can just fill the chest, and whenever the chest is full, I... Ooh, okay, that was almost bad. That's a good way to get yourself killed. Ah, uh, yeah, I do want to grab this diamond, though. Just before the episode is officially ended. Okay, that's what I was somewhat worried about. Let's do that, and that, and I'm going to do this. Try and sort of safely mine my way around. Uh, this is not safe anymore. Woo! <laughs> yep, that was a trip. Um, okay. So here's what we do with this situation. Okay. Uh, what we do with this situation is that I rearrange things just slightly. And I get out of here. <laughs> Fill that in like that. Okay. There's still a piece of diamond down there that I want, of course. Why wouldn't I want it? Uh, uranium, that's interesting. Okay. Here's, here's what I'm thinking here. If I do that... Oh my god. That was terrifying. I did not like that one bit. Would you would you leave, please? Thank you. Okay, and unfortunately that also got rid of my water. So I need to go find a source block somewhere. Sorry, I know this is going a little longer than I was uh, saying it would be. But I think that's okay. I think it's... For good reason. Okay, yes, this is always the problem, is that I have to actually find a source block. Which is there. And that actually makes this whole situation a little easier. Because now this whole area won't be in water. Okay, and then what I'm going to do here is something that I never showed off on the original series, but if I do this... Oh, maybe not. Um, how do I do this? Oh, I think I'd have to find one more source block as well, which I could do by going over here. So I'm just going to do that, and then I'm going to collect one more source. Uh, so then I've got a nearby source um, I think I might actually have to do that as a 4x4 four four pool, which I could pretty easily change that into. Um, and then you can actually create yourself like an infinite source pool. So 
seriously. Okay. Yep, so this is a problem. Come on, I just wanted to get to the source here. Which is where? Holy cow, just take me up, please. There we go. Alright, so now... Yeah, all of this to get, like, one diamond. <laughs> there we are. It's probably worth it, though. Oh, two diamonds, even. Woo! Okay. So my plan here is to do this. And as you can see, my plan worked out exactly like I wanted it to. Now, the extended part of this plan to get the uranium, which will only work, of course, if I empty my inventory of some various things. Got the uranium ore. Beautiful. That's what I wanted. Get that back. Hopefully you learned some fun little mining tricks there. Uh, I don't know a lot, but I've mined out around lava quite a bit, so... I know some when it comes to that. Alright. Yeah, see, the problem with these mods is it makes so many different ores that, like, within viewing range there's always another ore. <laughs> It's hard to stop. But, um, let me just get back to where my stuff is, and I will stop. Alright. <laughs> so, yes, uh, yeah, I'd say this was a very successful episode. Um, if I were to take inventory here quickly, we can look at a bit of what we've got after I collect these last few things here, of course. You know, because what did I say? I said I'd stop like five times. So, of course, that leads me to just continuing. It's just how these things go sometimes. Alright, so. Oh, and I'm actually like full up on iron. <laughs> That's really funny. So, I'll do that, and we'll do that. Um, thank you. It's like, what the hell? Uh, yeah, so if we look at this, so I got 22 iron plus some more that's in there, uh, 30 collect craft copper, aluminum, lead, silver, yellow right, tin, the other copper, one uranium, that's, uh, my uranium, actually, tin, uh, peridot? Okay, quantum dust, quartz, and of course, how could we forget that I got a zombie mask? But that is where I'm going to end this episode, so, uh, as always, feel free to comment if there's anything that you would like to comment on. Subscribe to the channel to see more videos every single day, and if you liked this episode of Tech Hit, then please do consider clicking the like button, because that helps me out a lot, and I definitely appreciate everything that you do to help me. So with all of that being said, I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.